Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how to use a switch case command in MATLAB. So a switch command actually switches between different commands and different options. So if I type switch help switch, now we can see the definition of switch command. So switch uh, among several cases based on expression and usually switch is used with uh, another command called case. So in this case, switch case, and then we'll have to put otherwise, and then at the end, we'll have to put an end command. So in a previous video, we have talked about how to use an if statement to calculate or to execute different conditions like this command. So here, what we had is that we had an initial value of a, and if a was less than zero, then the output should display it's a negative number. If the value of a is zero, then it should show zero. If it's positive, then it should show a positive number. Now we can do similar things with switch. The thing is, if you have an exact condition, then the switch command is better. But if you have uh, an inequality or have a broader condition, then if else if or if else is the better one to use. But We'll see in this video how to use this similar kind of example with the switch statement. So let's go and use the switch command here. So now I will comment what we want from this command. So initialize, let's say, a variable. Let's define it A. Um, now, input negative 1 for a negative number, 0 for a 0 value, and positive 1 for the positive number. So what we'll do is that it will ask for the user to input some number and if the number is 0, it will say the number is 0. If it's a negative 1, it will say the number is negative. And uh, if the value is positive 1, then it will say a positive number. So first, let's um, try it by defining it here. And then we will define it in the uh, command so that the user will be able to input that. So let's say the a is negative 1. Now, we have to run a while loop. And we'll run an infinite loop and we'll break it some, uh, use the break uh, command to break it as we want to fulfill the condition. So while true, we say switch here, switch, as you can see, it turned blue. So this is a command. And we'll say a, meaning switch the value of a. And then we will use the value of case. Okay, case now the a can have negative one zero or positive one so let's say positive one case what it will do is that it will display let's say the number a is a positive number okay and then the next case is case zero so now k0, um, for k0, what it will display is the number a is 0, something like that. And then let's say we have case, case let's say 1, negative 1 here. And that, if it's the case, then display um, the number is a negative number and this one okay so then we can say otherwise and then we can say break okay so what it will do is that it will find for a value if the a value is between one zero and negative one then it will execute one of these commands if it's not then it will go to this otherwise command and break out of the loop. And then we have to end the switch and end the while. So as we 
did that. So let's see. Um, let's run that editor. Let's run this and see if that's working. As you can see, it's infinite loop because we have defined a as negative one and it's always true. So I'll just press control C. Now what I wanted to do is I want to take um, input from the user. So I'll just um, delete this one. Let's, let's define the user input inside the loop. Let's say a equals to, let's use the command called input. Now we can um, say something to the user, let's say enter a value, enter a value and uh, it could be negative one, zero, one. And if we say, um, let's say semicolon, otherwise, other, let's say other values to quit. Okay, so we'll do that and we'll put another parenthesis. So I'll increase this one a little bit to understand what's going on. So I've put an input command so that this will prompt the user to enter a number. And this will this text will be shown in the output while using the uh, command window. Now what it says is that enter a value negative one, zero, or one, otherwise other values to quit. Meaning if I use, if the user inputs other values than negative one, zero, or one, the, the program should quit. So the program will go here and then it should quit. So let's see if I run this one, um, how does it work? So let's increase this one a little bit. So it's showing enter a value, um, enter a value, and it's so showing other values to quit. So if I enter negative one here and um, enter it, you can see a is negative one, the number is a negative number, it's printed. And now it's just asking me again, uh, enter another value. So if I enter zero, it will show the number is zero. If I use positive one, it will show the number is a positive number, but it will run again and again because it's in an infinite loop. If I enter something other than negative one, zero or one, it will break out of the loop. So let's say I want, I, I input five. Now it says a equals to five and it doesn't have any uh, command printed and the loop is over. So with this, we have learned how to use a switch case command in a MATLAB and also how to use this break command to make a software or make a program that will prompt the user for a value and then use that value to execute some set of commands. So here, if the value is uh, matches this case, it will enter here and whatever instruction that is here, it will execute that. If that matches here or here, it will do the same. If it doesn't match anything, it will go to this otherwise and then we, we imposed a break here. So don't forget to use this otherwise if there's no other conditions and don't forget to use these ends because without this, the, the command is not um, complete. So that is all for now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.